Welcome to my channel guys, I'm AG Dagros and welcome to my bad English as always. <laughs> yes, today I want to show you Zwam string section by audio modeling. So let's go, but uh, before, consider to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Thank you guys. And now let's go. Zwam instrument are based on physical modeling and uh, if you don't know watch my video about uh, this incredible instrument and you can get a special special discount with my codes and my links so you can get this discount only if you use my links and my code go to the description and uh, watch the uh, special discount so this is the sound you have some presets for example the chamber violin section Another piece is cinematic violin section. And today I want to create with you a little little example in cinematic style. I can easily assign the parameter to my keyboard if I have a controller keyboard with knob and fader, but you can obviously control uh, only with the mouse in the DAW. In my case, I want to assign, for example, the bow uh, pressure to a controller. I press learn, I move, uh, the knob that I want and now I can control the bow pressure with the knob so very easily. Today is not a video review about some uh, string section because uh, I have made this video so uh, if you want to watch this video I put a link in the description. I want to create with you something and I want to show you only this important feature of Zwam string section, the room and instrument position. I have loaded in my track all the Zwam instruments, so these instruments are linked by the software and you have now the room and instrument position. For example, I can move the violin to the left or to the right use the headphones to hear the difference because uh, it's very important to hear the stereo, stereo position okay i put the violins to the left i have here the cello, I show you the cello section. And when I open the room and control in the cello section, I have the same position. So the uh, room and instrument position are linked. So I put the cello, for example, here. Or the wireless ear, the cello ear, ear, and the double bass ear. I can also change the distance, and now I want to hear the double bass 
that are to the right. I choose uh, for all the four uh, Swan string sections the preset, the uh, cinematic double bass section. I set the tempo. I prefer to start with the cello. So for example, I add now some vibrato, so I go to the right. I use the mouse so you can uh, easily watch the video, but uh, you can obviously use your keyboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have uh, my vibrato here. And the same things with, for example, the bow, bow pressure that is very important. I show you and I record some bow pressure. Mm -hmm. As you can hear, the sound is amazing. And now I go to add some bow position. So I, I can see my envelope here and obviously I can draw, change, uh, cancel, erase uh, or anything that I want to do. And uh, another important uh, thing, I can choose the number of instrument. In this case, I have uh, five cellos but uh, I can choose three, four, or five cello. I can go to the expressivity to change the vibrato rate, uh, all the aspect of the sound. So you can uh, model the sound that you want. And I can do the same thing with the other instrument to create a, a really complete uh, strings part. So the video become too long, so I go to the final result. I have uh, all my track with uh, all my automation here. And this is the final result that I have made. It's only a little, little example for the video. External effects, guys, is only the sound of a Swam String Section. I remember that uh, you can get the Swam String Section and the other Swam instrument with a special 10% discount with my only with my links 
and my course go to the description and tell me in the comments what do you think about Swam instrument and at the next video bye